Hey YouTube, it's Echo Bear. So, as most of you have probably noticed by now, I look a little different. And guess why? It's Halloween! So this week I'm going to be reviewing apps that are all Halloween themed. Yay! So for the rest of this week you're going to have Skeleton Echo looking all spooky and stuff. So, same format as all my other reviews, I'm just going to look a little spooky. So yay, let's get started. The first app I want to talk about for this week's set of app reviews is Dark Meadow The Pact, made by Phosphor Game Studio LLC. And of course, this is serious stuff, so we always need the serious glasses, even if we are spooky. Even though you can hardly tell they're, they're on now. Oops. A dark fairy tale of intrigue and mystery where the sins of the past must be paid for, so sets the stage for the Dark Meadow, a visually stunning world of deep exploration, gripping story, and heart racing combat, created in the unrivaled power of the Unreal Engine 3. You wake in a hospital, uncertain of how you arrived there or why. An old man warns of a beautiful witch whose minions roll in the halls seeking the living. It's only when the witch is destroyed that you will be released from this unrelenting torment. Using fun and intuitive, fully gesture based controls, you explore the decaying ruins of Montclair Hospital. Armed with your crossbow for long range combat as well as your sword for up close and personal melee battles. And it features visually stunning, photorealistic world built in the Unreal 3 engine, a mature plot stylized for a dark, modern fairy tale with bizarre twists and turns. In a world storytelling and quality acting, gesture based action, crossbow ranged in combat with pullback and fire mechanics, slashing melee combat with dodging, walking, and combos. Available in English, French, German, Spanish, Japanese, Korean, Italian, Simplified, Chinese, Russian, Brazilian, Por and Portuguese languages. So the first thing I want to talk about with this game is just how visually stunning it is. Like, I don't know, I keep, my brain keeps trying to compare it to really big console games like Bioshock and Soma and all these other games that are coming out that are spooky and just really beautiful, but I keep forgetting that this is made it on the Unreal Engine for an app. Like, this is like almost a AAA level style of game that's made for an iPhone. That seems crazy to me. It's just, it's really beautiful and gorgeous. Like, the graphics rival um, Amnesia The Dark Descent in the style of it being a little decrepit, but it's still really visually just gorgeous. Now, it is a scary game, so I'm gonna judge it on scary game stuff. It's definitely, it's not a survival horror game because you're super freaking overpowered and it's like, you know when things are coming at you because it'll stop you and turn you around and make you, you fight it. So it's more of just like a hack and slash kind of game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. There's plenty of survival horror out there, but this one is works better for the iPhone because you can fight back, running away, using iPhone mechanics would be really hard, so standing your ground and fighting with your sword and crossbow is your best bet, which works really wonderfully for this game. And while I'm talking about the game mechanics, as I said earlier during serious time, there are two ways of attacking ranged stuff with your crossbow, which you actually drag your finger back on your iPhone like you're pulling back on the drawstring to shoot. So that's a really actually kind of fun mechanic. You can get some damage done to monsters before they get to you as they're walking towards you through the hall, which I haven't gotten super far in it, but they aren't super intense or super scary. So you definitely get enough time to like get a few hits on them and get their HP down. Once they get close enough to you, they'll both like you and the monster will both start doing melee attacks. So you with your sword have to dodge their attacks until they let their guard down and then you can just hack and slash away, which is you swiping back and forth on your screen and your character will imitate those swipes, which makes for a very, very immersive game. So that's just awesome in my opinion. There's some other things in this game that are really fun too as far as battle mechanics. Like the game doesn't allow you enough, enough HP to just brute force it. You have to dodge constantly, be paying attention to what the enemy's doing, and dodge accordingly to what they're doing. If they slash this way, you have to dodge that way. Like, it definitely has a learning curve that takes a little while to get used to, but once you do get used to that, it's super easy and really quite fun to, like, be in battle. Even though it does stress you out a little bit, like, 
because you die, there's not a lot of repercussions. You just get reset to the first room and have to continue from that point. This is also something that I've never really reviewed before in a nap game, the plot. So this is an app that actually had plot going along with it. I know other games have plot, but usually it's just like surface level, like, go save the princess, kind of like, very base level plot. Like, there's not a lot of depth to it. But this one actually has a lot of depth in it. There's the fact that you wake up in a hospital, there's another person talking to you, he seems kind of insane, there's a witch that's completely white and she's spooky as heck. There's plot, like there's visual, tangible plot that's happening. You can pick up things and read them and find out what's going on in the history of this place. Which is just really fascinating, it makes this world so much more immersive than it would be normally. And once again, this is a free app, like I cannot believe I didn't pay for this. Like, the fact that I didn't pay for this is insane for, like, the amount of time and love that's been put into it and the fact that it looks like a console or a PC game. That's crazy. That's crazy and amazing and bless the people at Phosphorus Games for doing it. Like, that's absolutely incredible to do something like this for free. Not entirely free. You can pay for stuff, but you don't need to to get the game or to play the game. It's just to get a leg up in the game. So, literally, like... It's absolutely amazing that they did it this way, because something at this quality, I would have paid for. I got a little off topic there, but within the plot, you have the other person that's trapped in this hospital with you. At first, he seems really intelligent and, like, he's genuinely there to help you, like your little Navi. But as the game goes on, he starts getting more sinister and more crazy, and it's like, you're not ever 100% sure if he's really on your side or just using you. And I haven't finished the game yet, so I don't know how it turns out, but I'm really, really quite interested to see how it turns out and if I even get out of this game alive. I think that's another reason why this game is just so fascinating. It's like, it's really deep and it gets you into it and you're like involved in what the characters are doing and like you want your characters to survive, which is like essential in a horror game because like there are some where you could just care less and then the whole motivation of the game just goes out the window and it's pointless but this one you genuinely care about your character like going free and getting out because like it's not only you that's suffering it's someone else and you're not sure if they mean the best for you or not and another thing that just adds to this is just the atmospheric like feeling of the game it's just really immersive and really well done sound effects like nothing stands out nothing sounds like bottled sound effects kind of thing it just sounds like really natural ambience that's happening around you and then when the music does kick in it doesn't feel out of place it serves as a stress heightener which most horror games use this for but it's not noticeable at least to me it's not so that just gives a whole nother level of stress and excitement to this game the enemy designs are wonderful like this whole game is just beautiful it's pretty creative I mean there's like a set of monsters with slight changes that happen to them but they're all like really intricately and weirdly designed that makes them like not overly creepy but just enough that it's disturbing and you feel concerned much like some of you may feel with how I look lately anyway so for my Halloween review, this is definitely something you want to check out, guys. Like, 100%. I totally endorse this game. I want people to go play it. It's amazing. So definitely, definitely, definitely check out this game. Once again, it's called The Dark Meadow. It's made by Phosphorus Games. Please, 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 please go check it out. Seriously, it's so much fun. It's really creepy. There's nothing really jump scary it's more just an intense like heightened like survival type thing so take my word for it or not go check it out it's a lot of fun and definitely there at the top of video games that i've reviewed so definitely 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 check it out it's so much fun and i recommend it to like everyone except for maybe small children it may be a little freaky but Otherwise, go check it out, go play it, go have fun. I rambled on long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and comment down below, hit subscribe, let me know what you think of my freaky face makeup down in the comments. I'm actually kind of curious if 
you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on how I did this and how I'm going to do my other Halloween costume, which is going to be robot makeup, let me know and like email, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! First step I want to review to you. The first step I want to review.